and I found out that her next litter is due in April. Good morning, world. Good morning, internet friends. Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Anxiety when sleep is not your friend. We've been adding on to the list all day today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. It's a Saturday. And I see I've got stuff I need to do, like clean my room. I need to get avocados. Because <laughs> I'm going to try a recipe that I saw from the Fry Life called salsa chicken. And it, from what it looks like, it just looks like throw all the ingredients in a crock pot and just let it go. Which, yay. Um, might get some tortilla chips too. Um, and knitting needles and yarn. So, yeah, that's the day I have ahead. What do you guys have planned today? Let me know in the comments below what's your plans for the day. So, yeah, just wanted to tell you guys good morning and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, so you may be hearing through the background um, roomies in the living room watching Neighbors to Sorority Rising, um, which I saw some of that and then I was getting other things done. So, and actually it's a pretty funny movie. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys some pretty awesome news that I discovered. So, the breeder where Riddler came from has a Facebook page and I stalk it a lot to look at the pictures of the cute puppies. And I found out that her next litter is due in April. And I was like, oh! So the puppy is $700 total. $350 is a down payment. And when I talked to her, she said that as long as I had the money, like, even up to when I picked the puppy up. And I was like, okay. So I think I have that window of, like, April to maybe June. So I've got a while to go to get funds up for my service dog. Right now, I'm still working with... Um, I'm trying patron. I'm still doing um, the GoFundMe. Sorry, I've taken my Ambien, so my brain's a little slower to process. And then any Etsy purchases goes directly to my um, GoFundMe. Why can I not remember that word? <laughs> um, and yeah, so. I'm pretty excited. I feel pretty hopeful about the service dog thing working out. And this was also sweet. I got a text from my mom. She's very confident in me getting the interview and getting the internship that she bought me two pairs of khaki pants. Yay, mom! Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about about an interview, um, I applied to be an intern at the zoo that I worked at over the summer. I applied for either keeper's assistant, nutrition assistant, or herpetology, which herpetology is to study reptiles. So any of those three. And then I got an email back from my old boss who I was under when I worked at the camp. And I have an interview with him and another manager, and we'll just see what happens from there. I've also applied for a job like birthday party assistance kind of thing. And I'll see who I need to talk to from there about that, and then maybe go to the aquarium and talk about like I put an application for um, animal trainer which I'm pretty sure that won't be able to happen but I mean we'll see what happens so yeah I've got a lot going for me and I'm pretty excited I just gotta survive the rest of this next couple weeks or so get schoolwork done get finals done <sighs> just walk across the stage and get a roll of paper and be like yay I'm so tired and so burnt out but and I'll go ahead and tell you high school kids that are watching because I know some of you are in high school or about to graduate like do not be panicked by like you see me stressing out over school work a lot and of course how it affects anxiety and all that don't let that deter you from your goals. 
If your goal is to go into go to school and then go to med school, become a doctor, don't let what other people's experiences have been scare you. Don't let the hardest thing, don't let your mental illness control you. Um right now, like I've said I wanted to go into vet school for a long time. Now I'm holding back on it, but that's only because I feel like I'm not going to be mentally ready. And that's why I'm trying to get my service dog first. So we'll see what happens there. So remember, don't give up on your dreams. And just because you see this beraggled mess of tired four-year college student, don't worry. College is a great experience. Definitely, if you're able to go to college, go to college. You will meet some amazing people. You'll make the best connections. And you just learn so many things. So many life lessons. So, yeah. Life lessons like how to kill ants that are all over your garbage can using only air, air freshener and a bathtub. Or what music to play when really, really loud things are going on. I had to do that my freshman year, actually. Um, you learn to adapt. And really, it's great. And then you meet some of the best people in your lives. And it's just wonderful. Sorry, I may not be making sense as I'm going, because I can feel the ambient kicking in. <sighs> so, yeah. Sorry about this being a shorter vlog too, just, I literally have spent most of the day watching season three of Haikyuu, um, FaceTiming with Jordan, went to Walmart with Ariel and Alex to get some stuff for the salsa chicken, which salsa chicken was a success, yes! Um, it's a recipe I actually got from the Fry Life, um, I can link you I'll link the video that the recipe was on in the description if you'd like. Or I could also just flat out write it out. But here, let me tell you what it is first. So, first get some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Like, I used three. And, like, to feed five people. You can use one, two, however many you need to. And you're going to need a crock pot for all this. So have your thawed chicken, put it in the crock pot. Get a jar of salsa, pour the whole thing in there. If it's a big jar, pour that thing in there. And then drain a can of black beans and then put the beans in. Drain a can of corn and put the corn in. And then close it, set it on high, let it go for about three or four hours. Um, it will smell quite delicious. Then after those about three or four hours, Shred up the chicken and then add in a block of cream cheese. Let that go until it melts and then ta-da! Salsa chicken is ready. And it's so versatile. Like you can, it has a consistency of chili is what I've discovered. So like you can eat it straight out of the bowl. You could eat it with chips, put it in a tortilla, put it on rice, whatever you want. I kind of ate mine like I would a chili. I crunched tortilla chips on top. And some avocado and sour cream and yum. And now I'm kind of craving having more. There's some in the fridge. Do I want to? Maybe later. So, yeah. That's the wonderfulness of salsa chicken. If you ever want to try it, it is pretty good. Um, but yeah. Before my brain goes off being too weird... I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... What is a crock pot recipe that you really like? That either you've made or somebody has made? One of my favorite crock pot recipes was... My best friend Lakota made the most amazing chili. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. I also like whenever we make homemade apple butter at home. And the whole kitchen smells like cinnamon and apples and it's really good. So put your answers down below and I will see you tomorrow.